your Beverly Hills subculture palette again for this video. So if you guys want to see how I created this look, please keep watching. Okay guys, so let's get started. I have, by the way, got braces put in. So if I'm talking with a lisp and I spit it everywhere, that is why. I am going to film a separate video on that. So please excuse me for my funny way of talking right now. The struggle is real right now, guys. So today I am going to be filming with the subculture palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. So many people loved my last video that I've done with this palette. So if you guys haven't seen that, it's like a deep green matte smoky eye. I think I'm going to do like a cut crease today itself. So we have to bring up the full shebang shebang, the full pigment. This palette is very pigmented, I ain't gonna lie, even though it has hella fallout. So to start off with, I'm going to use my MAC 210 brush. This is like a small little liner brush. I haven't used this in so long, guys. It's such an old brush. I'm going to start off with this shade here. It's called Rowdy. It's like a dark purple. And then I'm also going to mix it with a bit of this shade called All Star, just to get like an a in-between kind of shade. And I'm going to look straight into a mirror. And while my eyes are open, I'm just going to map out just slightly on top of my crease because I want you to still see my cut crease when my eyes are open. So I do both eyes at the same time. And when you do it like this, rather than doing like this, look how far this is if I done it with my eyes like stretched like this. But when I look straight, it doesn't look too high. But what about this is I fucking look like near my eyebrow. <laughs> when you do it like this, you are still going to be able to see the cut crease even when you have your eyes open. Isn't that the worst when you like close your eyes, you see everything, and then you open your eyes and everything like falls over? Isn't that so annoying? So this is so good. If you have like hooded eyes, this is the perfect way to do cut creases. So make sure your eyes are still open and then just kind of trace the shape that you're looking after. You're looking after, that you're looking for. So I'm going on the inner corners and then I'm just going to slowly start to fade this out. But this is all going to be blended anyway, so don't worry too much about focusing on the crease and stuff. Because this is all going to be like faded out here. It's just going to be this bit that I'm going to cut today. If you want to drag this cut crease out, then you just kind of bring it down towards your eyebrow. But I'm going to do like a half cut crease because I think that looks a bit more flattering. I'm just going around in semi-circle motions just to kind of carve that shape out. When I want it to be more defined, then I'll go in with just a rowdy shade. But when I want to blend it out, then I'll start to dip it into the all-star shade. So this is rowdy and then this is all-star. It's a bit lighter. So I'm just going to define it slightly with the rowdy shade. So now I'm going to go in with a pencil brush. I'm going to use this MAC 219 brush. It's a small little pencil. And then I'm just going to take the all-star shade. Look guys, this eyeshadow palette, when it has fallout, the fallout is so pigmented, it just smears all over your hands. So you need to make sure you clean your hands while you do your makeup, otherwise you end up with fingerprints all over your face. Okay, so round it on my brush and you have to make sure you tap off the brush because you don't want it to fall everywhere, you know. And then always try to keep your eyes open while you're blending this bit out. Because if you stretch it, it's going to be really hard to blend out, I find. It's going to be a bit more of a harsher line if you do it like that. This is construction net door! Because this pencil brush is a bit bigger than that liner brush, it literally just goes back and forth and it starts to blend out that line while still keeping it a little bit defined. Don't worry too much if you get this all messy because we're going to clean out with concealer anyways. And I'm kind of bringing this bit down and then I'm just going to connect this side bit right here. Almost so it's like a V. Look how fucking pigmented that shit is. Fucking hell. It's so hard to blend out now because it's so strong, the colour. Like, I just want a little bit, bitch. By the way, guys, I have got all my foundation and eyebrows on. I've got separate videos on that, so I'll link them up here if you haven't seen them yet so this is still using the rowdy shade all here so this is a bit crazy right now this has a freaking diamond shape on my eyes imagine if i just left the house like this hi guys okay next up i'm going to use my smith 230 brush it's like a small little shade of rounded brush if you have a matte 217 it will also work as well but mine's dirty at the moment so i'm going to go in with this bit of roxy on the brush and then i'm going to dip it in a little bit of all star as well just so it blends together on the brush and then i'm just going to start to blend this shade out here so it has like a pinky transition shade and it's going straight in and because this brush is quite small it just helps fade out that all star shade so it doesn't look as harsh of a line anymore because it starts to look a bit crazy so i literally just go on top and because the brush is naturally bigger it will just blend it out for you and you just literally have to go back and forth with the two eyeshadows mixed on your brush and then that just helps it fade it out and then i'm also going to make this bit a bit more like blended in because it looks like so harsh right now so i like this bit quite harsh and then this bit needs to be like faded in softly for the lid color that we're going to put in a minute so when i go higher i'm touching just roxy on the brush and then when i'm going lower here i add a bit more of that all star in with the roxy so that it blends seamlessly um, so i'm still taking that roxy shade i'm just blending it on top but do you guys notice that the color is inside the crease is not as dark as this one let's say so we need to go back in and start to define the crease again so i'm going to touch the pencil brush just into all star by itself 
So it's the same brush that we used earlier. And now I'm gonna go back in just where I started to lose that depth color and then start to redefine it again. If you wanna make it really, really dark, then you go back in with a bit of rowdy, the really dark shade from the palette, but we might not do that yet. We'll never do that at the end to make it really defined and sharp. And then I pick up my blending brush again and I just take whatever's left on the brush and I just go back and forth. And this is how you get it to be really defined in the crease. So if you haven't got a defined crease, like before I had my eyelid surgery, I used to do this trick all the time and in photos, your eyes are a lot more deeper. So this is perfect for hooded eyes, guys. So if you want like a really nice dramatic eye look definitely do this and then when you pack like a light shade on the inner corners and on the lid and stuff your eyes are really open and bright okay so i'm gonna just quickly do the same like this on the other eye and i'll be back okay so i just quickly done both eyes and i'm gonna go and start to put my lid color on now because it starts to look very messy you see all of this we need to clean that shit up so this is a secret on how to get really really sharp cut crease you feel me keep watching guys so i'm gonna be going in with the matte studio finish concealer this is the shade nc20 and then i'm also gonna go in with the color Pop. This is like a flat shader brush. It's like one of their new brushes from their line. And this concealer is really good for cut creases because it's quite dry. So it actually works in your favour because it's not too creamy where it will kind of smudge everywhere. Okay, and then just on the crease here, you can still see where I want it to be defined. I'm just going to go back in and redefine it. So I'm picking up concealer and I'm going right inside the crease. And you want to make sure your brush is like a flat brush, a synthetic one as well. So it gets really, really sharp the line. And then I'm kind of tilting my head back at the same time. So my mirror is here and I'm kind of looking back like this so that my eyelid is straight and i can literally see the whole thing without going like this it's gonna be really hard to carve out your crease so you want your eyelids to be stretched but you still want to see what you're doing that's why i tilt my head back and then i just do like small dashes and then get that really nice and sharp again okay and then just on the inner corner bit i want to kind of start to blend this out so it looks a bit more natural and then all on this bit here i just kind of take my brush very lightly and i just kind of tap my finger so it kind of helps fade the two colors together and then i'm just gonna do the same on the other eye okay so on my eyelid i'm gonna go in with this color it's called electric and i'm going to use a flat shader brush this is the mac 242 brush and i'm actually going to wet the brush so that the color becomes really opaque and then i'm going to go in that electric shade here it's like a greeny gold and i'm literally going to lay that right on top of the concealer if you don't want to go for something this bright you can also go for adorn which is like a darker bronzy shade so because i've got that crease kind of carved out for me i'm literally just putting on the concealer straight on top if you go on top of the burgundy a little bit don't worry because you can literally easily clean that back up with that little liner brush so i'm just taking a little bit of new wave and also edge just with a small fluffy brush and the mac 221 brush for any fluff brush honestly and i'm just slowly gonna start to fade this greeny shade into the red just so it has a little bit of ombre here i think that'll look really pretty when it's like all faded together because it kind of like goes to green into this mustardy shade and then back into that red shade and then go back in with my smith brush and i'm just gonna blend the two colors together to make sure all three colors merge together because what you don't want is like a harsh line between where the green starts and then the red starts because it's quite like hard color to blend together right so by using the new wave shade just helps give that soft transition inside the lid it's a bit more like a sunset so i'm quickly going to do the other eye and i'll be back okay and then just on the bottom lash line, i'm going to go with a black pencil this is from buxom it's called call me and it's like a black pencil but it's really nice and creamy for the waterline okay so this is just going to go with my bottom lash line here look how dark that is that's fucking creamy af so i'm just putting this on quite roughly and then i'm going to blend it out i'm also going to do my top lash line as well while i'm here and i've got the pencil ready okay so now that i've got my eyeliner on i need to make sure this is all blended out bitch because otherwise i'll end up getting creasing so i'm going to go in with this rowdy shade here again it's like that dark purple eggplant shade with my mac 219 again that pencil brush okay, and this is going to go over the black and it's just going to help blend it out just so it fades nicely because you don't want it to look like a harsh line like this because it'll make your eyes look really bg okay so now that i blend it out, i'm going to go in with that all star shade again with my smith brush that i used earlier on the top eyelid i'm just going to blend that out on the bottom just so it fades just the same like the top of your crease because you want it to kind of blend at the bottom so that it looks all seamless together you know yeah i see the difference with this one this one Okay guys, so now it's time to put on my liquid liner and lashes. I have got separate videos on that. So if you guys want to see how I do my liquid liner and how I stick on my lashes, I will link up here. But just at the same time, I'm going to quickly edit to when I have my liner lashes on. Now! Okay, so I just stuck on my lashes. The lashes that I use today were the Eyelaw ones in collaboration with Vegas Nay. These are synthetic lashes. So if you're looking for really dramatic, good drugstore ones, I would highly recommend the Vegas Nay Grand Glamour Lashes. Okay, and just to finish off with the lip colour, I'm going to go for this shade. It's from Dose of Colours and it's called Glaze. This is a bit too pale. 
a little bit crazy let's keep going let's see what it looks like so as you guys can see this is the color on its own it looks a bit crazy but the formula is really nice when you have light colors like this that's too powerful your skin tone you need to use a lip liner so i'll show you how to like even it out and make this color work hopefully so i'm gonna go in with this lip liner it's called mac strip down and you have to make sure that the pencil is still quite sharp and i'm just gonna gently line the lips around it and because the lip liner is a bit darker than the lipstick it just helps fade it in so if you have like more of a tan skin tone you're a bit deeper and there's a lot of colors that you really want to wear but you feel like you can't if you use a darker lip liner and then fade it out after you put on the lipstick it blends really really well it's a really good tip to have and i definitely recommend to get some good lip liners if you guys don't want to use mac ones nyx come out with really really good lip liners it's their nyx matte lip suede these are really nice and they're really similar to mac ones because they're like the pencil type rather than the plasticky type so you guys see once i put a lip liner around it it just makes your lips a bit more defined rather than just having like a really really light lip that just fades into your skin tone you know so with this it makes your lips look a bit bigger as well because you have a little bit of the ombre effect all right guys so that's it for this makeup tutorial i really really hope you like the way that this makeup look turned out i think this look will be so good for evening events you want to cut that crease it's so good for hooded eyes as well so i hope you guys learned a few techniques in this video so if you guys haven't yet please make sure you follow me on all my other social media platforms it's just x Lee on snapchat twitter instagram and facebook oh my god that was so hard to say with braces so many s's and i'll see you guys my next video bye guys enjoy the bloopers okay now it's time to pose 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 break it down now break it, break it down mm -hmm. yeah i got too many videos to film bitch stop that's it bitch <laughs> this creaky door and this crazy dog look coco you just had a bath you look crazy right now coco lena get out so hot in there i'm sweating my fucking tits off races i'm cutting my fucking cheek bit and i really really laid down the crease color i really laid down the concealer i mean let me start again my battery just died go oh, right that's so quite time i'm gonna quite time i'm gonna quickly edit it now i did use the huda just say the huda beauty